Hello and welcome to Uberpad, India's first smart AV e-commerce store. One of the most important aspects in display technologies is its ability to represent and reproduce colors. With manufacturers listing different types of color gamuts, which one is the best for you? In this video, we're doing a quick primer on color gamuts. We'll also shed some light on the three most popular ones currently available that are REC709, DCI-P3 and REC2020. Before we get into the details, please subscribe to our channel. Also, click the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And now, let's dig in. First, let's understand what a color gamut is. By definition, it is a range of colors within the visible color space of the human eye which a display device is able to reproduce. Think of it as the palette of colors from which you can choose to create an image. The wider the range of colors in the palette, the richer the images you can create and vice versa. The human eye is capable of seeing many colors. Unfortunately, none of our current technologies are capable of producing the entire color spectrum. To counter this, color gamut is used to express the portion of the overall visible color space which the device can reproduce. It helps define the limits of that device's color representation. When describing color gamut, a CIE chromaticity diagram is used. This was developed by the International Commission on Illumination. A triangle representing the color gamut is drawn inside the visible color space. It is represented by a horse-like shape. In such diagrams, the bottom left corner represents the bluish blue, the bottom right corner represents the reddish red, and the top corner represents the greenish green that the given color gamut can display. The area encapsulated by these points encompasses the entire color gamut. In other words, it is all the colors that the device can reproduce. A color gamut also acts as a shared language for every element involved in the process of capturing and producing images. This ranges from cameras, media players and display devices among others. This is done to ensure that all the colors used by the devices are in sync. It acts as a point of reference that defines each color used in the ecosystem which leads to the reproduced images. To ensure that everyone is using the same languages to define colors, Agencies such as the International Telecommunications Union, Radio Communications Sector defines given color gamuts for use by their peers. Now, let's look at each of these color gamuts individually. Released in the year 1990 by ITUR, REC709 is also known as BT709. It includes a unique color gamut as part of the widest list of specifications. It was released to cater to high definition content. DCI-P3 is a color standard defined by Digital Cinema Initiatives Organization in the year 2010. It is commonly used by the film industry, particularly for their digital movie projectors. It is also used by tech companies such as Apple, Samsung, Google and others in the mobile device sector. REC2020 is also known as BT2020. ITUR released REC2020 as an update to REC709. It refers to various specifications covering aspects of video broadcast including a corresponding color gamut. REC2020 is aimed for ultra-high definition 4K and 8K resolutions. In terms of visible color space coverage from the three, REC2020 is the highest, followed by DCI-P3 and then REC709. We hope you liked this video of popular color gamuts. Is there any AV technology that you would like us to cover next? Use the comment section to share your suggestions. Thank you for watching.